sometimes as a songwriting exercise, I like to start with a complete random phrase. It's a good prompt because it gets me out of my head and my normal things that I would write about. I use this website called Watch Out for Snakes and I generate a random phrase. Sometimes just a random word or a list of random words, but this time I thought it'd be cool to do a sentence. I didn't super like what I got, but I like the word mathematician. And so as I was thinking about things, I started thinking about someone who's trying to math their way through love. So I took that random phrase and entered it into a new sample pack generator that output has. Usually you would type things like uh, trance beat at 100 BPM or happy piano solo in the key of D. You know, something like that, something a little more musically descriptive. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to just try this nonsense phrase and see what sample packs it would generate for me. Once I listened through a few of the ideas, I really dug it. Sort of this melancholy piano part that completely fit the concept that I was going for. So I started throwing that stuff into Logic, tried to chop up the sample and make some kind of a bit of an arrangement out of it. And I knew I wanted to add a tiny bit of my own piano to it just to change the phrasing a little bit. And in this case, to reinforce the bass line. At this point, I started hearing a bit of a melody in my, my head, this little like, and I thought, hmm, what could that be? So at first I wrote, sometimes it doesn't add up, thinking I would try to use as many math puns as I could. <laughs> but I ended up changing it to, it's true it doesn't add up. It's true it doesn't add up. And you're left with the feeling that kept you from breathing. It took a half oh, then I started bringing in some of the other samples that weren't piano. I brought in some flute, a little bit of some strings, although the strings were a little overpowering, so I brought them way down in the mix. And then I really liked this acoustic guitar part, but it didn't fit over the first phrase, so I added it in as a second section. And once I did that, the whole song took on a different direction. But when you think about the times you have to get what is that word? Would you give it up? The first part almost felt like an intro, and it wasn't going to be the main hook of the song. And so that gave me this um, little bit of a faster melody in the second half. That kind of a rhythm. <laughs> it's not like I said a potato. I really like working this way because I wouldn't have come up with this song on my own. Not the concept, not the style, not the piano. This is something entirely new for me. And whether I do anything with this song or not, I really like the exercise of getting myself out of a comfort zone as a songwriter.